Good afternoon and welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be playing uh, Super Mario Brothers and as time allows uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. Uh, I will not be using warp zones as uh, you know again I kind of like to play these to not really do a walkthrough but to show uh, to kind of show uh, show m as much of the game as I can. Uh, <clears throat> so this was uh, released in uh, 1985 uh, that was Japan um, it was 1985 as well in North America um, a little bit of uh, fun trivia for it I guess you could say is that uh, it's last I read nobody knows the exact day it was released in North America it just kind of showed up so Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this rolling then, and uh, we'll get playing. Uh, how's everybody been doing today? Everybody surviving the week? Yeah, my week's been uh, up and downs. Uh, some... Uh, Fairly good stuff has been going on. Uh, been uh, been sick, as I mentioned during my Zelda 2 playthrough. Uh, <clears throat> I still uh, have a bit of a frog in my throat and uh, yeah, some sniffles. Uh, but the uh, show must go on. I took a day off. Uh, but we are back and I uh, got a Come on, dude. I got a schedule uh, of my own written down. Um, and uh, starting on either Sunday or Monday, uh, which we will then officially be in the month of October, uh, we will be sp starting our Spoopy Games Fest. So, stick around. No fireworks this time. I'm sure you'll see um, eventually through this playthrough. Uh, if you hit the flag with a certain digit uh, at the end of the timer, I think it's a 7 or an 8, um, you get some fireworks. So I think it also counts if the timer is at like a 2 or 3 as well. It's been probably a good 10 or 15 years since I've played uh, this Mario as well. As, I mean, it's pretty revolutionary. Um, if you jump up here and run to the right, you will get to the warp zones. But, like I said, we're not going to do that. Uh, yeah, I mean, this was, you know, the first of its kind uh, for Mario games. You know, there was... Mario Brothers that came first, not to be confused with what we're playing today, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, Mario Brothers was the arcade game where essentially it was all about points. You can play uh, one player or two players. A uh, little bit of a fun fact about that, there's the Atari commercial for Super Mario Brothers uh, that's... Uh, Luigi singing Mario, Where Are You? Um, it is a parody of the theme song of Car 54, Where Are You? Uh, <clears throat> uh, but I think that is the first time ever on record that uh, Luigi had been portrayed as scared. As, you know, his personality is a scaredy cat. Yeah, 
there are hidden coin blocks here. Uh, nothing in them but coins. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can jump over Bowser or we can... Er, Koopa. He's Koopa in this. Um, I think I mentioned that in, uh, in Mario 3 that uh, even then he was still Koopa. Um, and I'm not certain when, uh, when Bowser came along. May have been Super Mario World, but I, I'll, I'll look it up and I'll get back to you. Yesterday I was feeling pretty rough because of uh, feeling sick. Um, I did consider jumping on and streaming for you guys yesterday. But I told myself if I was going to, it would have to be a silent stream where uh, all you hear is the game. Uh, but, I mean, I know it's still early enough in my, in my streaming that I haven't really established a whole lot. But... Uh, the interaction with the community is the number one point. So, silent stream wouldn't do me a whole lot of good. Damn. Didn't get all three. Nothing happens if you get all three. Uh, just one of those things that I like to try. And the flagpole, of course, was introduced in this uh, first Super Mario game. Uh, I don't think it returned in the series until New Super Mario Brothers on the DS. Uh, but I'm just going from my own personal memory. I don't have, you know, like a wiki walkthrough or anything up. Um, so... Again, anybody who wants to correct me, they're welcome, because I, I love to learn. Right, we're going to let him pass on by. Uh, that is kind of a death trap to go get the six coins as the current will pull you down. You can escape it, it's just, it's just tough. For six coins, can really not worth it. <sighs> now, uh, this game may end up surprising me, but I'm thinking it'll only take me about an hour to beat this one, uh, considering we're on world 2-3. There's eight worlds total. Each world has four stages. Yeah, I'm thinking about an hour. Uh, but I'm out of practice enough as well that I might, I might have some problems. One thing implemented in uh, Super Mario 3 was uh, if you jump on a Goomba or a Koopa and you're holding down jump, I believe, um, you'll you'll hop a lot higher. Here, um, if I do, like, I get no extra momentum. It's just kind of like I hop a hint, but it's more a drop. Uh, I was... 
just double checking, uh, making sure my controls and everything worked uh, before I jumped on earlier. Uh, and you know, came across the the uh, the Goombas in the first uh, the first area, and uh, was like, "Hey, I'm not bouncing higher." I myself had forgotten that that was, wasn't around from the very beginning. Um, another thing, uh, I was never able to pull that off. There's an infamous uh, infinite lives trick there where if you uh, bounce on the Koopa and it's like he hits the wall, you keep just bouncing. Uh, you'll rack up points and just keep getting one-ups. Um, I've never been able to pull it off, but... Yeah. Uh. Three, four, five, six, seven. Um, the points from your star don't rack up either where uh, yeah, you don't get the one up from killing like, what is it, 10 enemies or so? Maybe 8, somewhere around there. Another uh, little fun fact, I guess you could call it, uh, the box art for Super Mario Brothers uh, down there, um, not two, but number one, uh, Mario on that uh, screenshot is dying. Uh, if you look uh, below him, you can see the, uh, the design of the lava waves right under him. Uh, so yeah, he missed his jump and... It's taking the dive. Now, despite the fact that it may take a few tries, um, I can absolutely get through Mario 1. Mario 2 I'm not super good at, so uh, we're going to... We're going to do our best through it. Um, I have beaten it before. It's just... It's tough. Uh, and we'll talk about it when we get there. hidden coin block in here somewhere uh, it's not really important I'll just show you just you know for the shits and giggles aspect of it it was like I could swear it's in there I'm like maybe I'm Mandela affecting but shit 
Mm. Okay, so that is a fault of my own. I will absolutely, uh, absolutely say that. Um. <coughs> Uh, the uh, the mechanics of this game is a little like ice rinky, where if you're going so fast, uh, you're not gonna stop on a dime. All right, I will show you. I'm not gonna take it though. There's a vine that goes up. That will be our warp zone to uh, world eight, uh, if we were to speed run in this. But we are not. We're just we're just relaxing today. Yeah, it's like, I'm pretty sure there's a mushroom or a flower or something in one of those. I actually tend to take that, uh, World 8 Warp Zone. Uh, so... You know, considering we're now on World 4-3, um, we're pretty close to halfway through this game and only 17 minutes in. Uh, being not as familiar with Worlds 5, 6, and 7 uh, is why I'm estimating, you know, about an hour total to beat this game. This is one of the castles where if you go the wrong way, it will reset on you. Uh, so you have to then find the correct pathway to get through this castle. Ah, uh, uh, hell, that's not what I meant to do. But, you yeah, we all make mistakes and we have to live with them. So be it. We are halfway through. I appreciate the star, but I would like a mushroom. Hammer brother right there that is yeah I was about to say that's gonna make our lives difficult if I don't get that mushroom but then I did and already killed him so we're fine uh, hammer brothers are definitely part of the reason this game gets difficult Come 
There we go. Like I said, my familiarity with worlds 5, 6, and 7 are not as strong as I'm more used to uh, jumping right into world 8. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Fan X was uh, this past weekend here in Salt Lake City. Uh, for those of you unaware, it's essentially Comic Con. <clears throat> um, I did not go. Uh, it's, they're fun. Uh, my wife and I went to the Tampa Comic Con in 2016. And that was fun, don't get me wrong. Um, just too crowded, uh, so I didn't bother. Fuck, I missed that jump. Didn't build enough momentum on it. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, as I was saying, I myself did not go to Fan X. Um, several of my co-workers did, though, and was telling me, you know, how they were all having a great time and everything was great. Um, and so many of them were like, yeah, and now we're all sick. And I'm like, oh, well, I dodged that bullet because I didn't go. And then I guess they passed it along to me at work. Yes. Here I am sick. So... Yeah, I don't think I can safely get that mushroom. Um, so this is a repeat of Cast... Ah, uh, fuck. Um, Castle 2. Um, it's just... It's got more fire. Uh, and... Lots more shit being thrown at you. Shit. It's okay. Doing all right. Oh, shit. It's definitely not expecting that. Ah, oh, fuck. Didn't make the jump, but fireball went up my ass anyway. Uh, I, I really don't think there's a way I can get that. And then I am reminded of the fact that the screen only moves forward, does not go back. Six it is.
There's definitely a lot of embracing in the past here. I know a good chunk of these pipes have things down them. Uh, it's probably hidden blocks I'm missing uh, for extra lives and whatnot. Uh, but like I mentioned at the beginning, this isn't really a matter of a playthrough to show everything. It's just to go from point A to point B, beginning to end. Uh, I'm not certain what's up there. I am not certain I can even get up there. Yep, it's gone. You know, the old NES, you know, statement. Once it's off the screen, it no longer exists. I guess uh, graying everything out works as ice. Although nothing slippery, it's still just the the uh, generic sliding uh, that we get from the fact that your momentum just keeps going even after you stop. Ah, oh, fuck. That was embarrassing. That was... Yeah, I know, uh... Half-Life is either one or two. I think it was just the first one, though. I uh, really kind of mastered, like, the ragdoll phys physics and uh, making things move as they would in real life. Uh, this game really mastered uh, the, um, the momentum. Not a lot of people talk about it, and... As I mentioned, you know, I could be wrong. I could... Whoa, dude. Alright, well, I guess his hitbox is bigger than I thought it was. Um, but yeah, you know... Video games have come a long way in a lot of different ways. Oh! Um... Okay, I... See, I'm giving praise to this game, and then I completely forget there is no continues. Ooh, okay. uh, well, I guess y'all are gonna get to see some warp zones, because I'm gonna I'm a tear through this as fast as I can. Hopefully without killing myself too much. Ah, dicks. Um, but yeah, so I mean, if anybody has an example of momentum working really well before this, I'd love to hear about it. Again, not everything I say is, you know, is exactly correct. It's just as far as I know it. So. Right. <coughs> hmm. 